The LEGO Fortnite Fast Travel Update version 30.4 comes to LEGO Fortnite tomorrow, August 6th, and I am gonna be going over the patch notes today to tell you guys everything that you need to be prepared for in tomorrow's update. There's a lot of cool quality of life upgrades, so I hope you're excited. Let's get into the video. What if you could travel from the Dry Valley to the Frostlands in a flash? Impossible? Not anymore. This update will be bringing fast travel to our world in the form of the bus station. And we can also change the settings of our worlds to make them safer, make them more dangerous, or make them exactly how we want them. But that is not all. There's so much more being added as well as toys. We're going to get right into those. So the Battle Bus Fast Travel Network is ready for operation in our worlds. The bus station. Basically a workstation like any other workstation that you have, like the crafting bench, uh, the spinning wheel, the loom, it's gonna work the same way. You're gonna need materials to craft it. There's already gonna be bus stations across the map. So if you wanna use the ones that are already there, go ahead, but you can destroy them and gather a new item, the rift shard, and acquire enough of them to craft your own bus stations. I wanna talk about these rift shards real quick because I know that the whole rift term has been thrown out in leaks and stuff for a very long time. And personally, I think these rift shards being introduced into the game to make the bus station is gonna be a perfect in for them to add those rift monsters or those rift weapons or whatever it is that they were going to do um, with the rift shards. I think that eventually there will be more functionality added to this resource. So those of you who are excited about some of those leaks that have happened long ago, there is still a large amount of hope for you. The next thing is that enemies can be changed on and off and the world settings themselves can be changed. But there's a couple parameters that we got to talk about. You no longer have to make a new world if you want to change your settings. Every setting except your mode, cozy survival sandbox or expert and player elimination can be changed. Now that last little bit, the player elimination, that's kind of an L for me. Not being able to change it from survival to sandbox to expert is a huge W. I think people would absolutely abuse that and we don't need any of that. Now this doesn't apply to lock settings in expert mode. And if you turn off your enemies or friendly creatures or villagers, uh, the ones that you have will remain in the area until you leave the render distance and come back and then they'll be gone. Next, we have my favorite section. Okay, this is where I've shined for most of my content. Now, I don't really have a whole lot of uses for the things that are gonna be added. I think mostly these items added are going to help improve things that have already been done, but we're gonna go over some of the new toys that are gonna be added in this new update tomorrow. Stamina hunger, all that really matters is that you're having fun and nothing is more fun than new toys. I can attest to that. I like new toys. Pressure plate, a button you can put pressure on to turn on channels. This button needs to stay down to work. Now, these buttons can probably be manipulated with weighted items like the metal box and stuff like that. So there's going to be new ways to use the regular pressure plate, but they also have a trigger plate, which is another button that you can put pressure on to turn on channels. But unlike the pressure plate, it stays on. But you do have to note, they still haven't changed the whole thruster thing. Those thrusters are going to turn off after a certain amount of time, which I hope they change in the future because... Uh, in tandem with the whole trigger plates, I think that this is absolutely a W in terms of adding functionality to the game. The next thing that they added, uh, we saw in an update like a couple weeks ago, it absolutely destroyed toys and vehicles in the game. The ability to activate balloons small and large. So a balloon that comes uninflated and inflates itself using channel control. Perhaps a pressure or trigger plate will work. And we unlock these recipes just by crafting a loom. So I think that these toys are pretty cool. Um, I give them like a six and a half, seven out of 10. Um, I was hoping for something else a little bit cooler um, in, in addition to the balloons. I was hoping that maybe that that was something that they were going to add along down the road and that, that maybe that they would add something else instead. But this is totally fine. I'll take this. We can make things like cargo planes. We can finally do things where you can park vehicles on your planes and the weighting doesn't change. So uh, like I said, like a 6, 7, still a pretty good W in terms of adding new content to the game uh, in, forms of, in the form of toys. We're adding new bundles into the item shop. One for sure here that they're showing, the Pirate Lifestyle Bundle. It'll be going for a thousand V-Bucks. And if you haven't supported anybody 
in the item shop yet, please consider using my code, code Flocka, in the item shop. If you're going to purchase any of these new items, we've got the Captain's Battlement, a Lego kit with the Captain's Battlement build and Planky's favorite decor bundle. The kit is 800 V-Bucks individually. The Captain's Cabin, a decor bundle with eight decor items. Um, it's especially good for indoor decoration, so an indoor decor type bundle. Uh, this bundle is 300 V-Bucks individually. And a seaport style uh, bundle, uh, decor bundle with eight decor items, especially good for outdoor decoration. That bundle is 200 V-Bucks individually. So in total, it is a 1300 V-Buck bundle that you're getting for 300 V-Bucks off. So go ahead and do with those numbers what you will. And whether or not you're going to buy them, like I said, use code Flocka if you're not already supporting your favorite creator. We'll also be getting major improvements and adjustments. Okay, let's start off with the top. New vehicle builds. Zoom across your world in the cart racer or carve your own trail in the off-road flyer. Two new vehicle builds being added into the new update. Now, this is going to be pretty interesting to see how they differ from the vehicles that they've already offered us. I'm a little bit concerned that the off-road flyer is going to be no different than the uh, original vehicle that they gave us. And the cart racer, I'm hoping it has a little bit more stability than that tiny little ATV that they gave us. But nonetheless, two new unique vehicles for those who can't seem to make vehicles themselves. This next one is going to grow with time, I think. Um, and it's especially useful for new players. The codex. Things you find will appear in your codex. Get information on what you've discovered. Get hints on what you haven't. And track recipes that you're working on. Can you find it all? Now, I like this. I like this a lot because as the game grows and in a year's time, there's going to be so much new stuff. The Star Wars Island, any other collabs that they do, there's going to be so much to keep track of in terms of recipes and stuff to unlock. And the Codex is going to be a really good way to organize where you need to go and where, what you need to do next. This is really good for new to intermediate players or people who just play casually. I think that this is a massive improvement, but not as much of an improvement as the next couple of pieces the map improvements i have been preaching for this for so long and thank you epic thank you okay we can now zoom out much further on the world map and pan across the entire world but not only that we can now ping the map which will drop a marker in the world to help with our travels now instead of only being able to mark what you can see you can now go onto the map, mark something that you've built a far a ways away, and you can see exactly where you need to be going so we don't have to constantly switch from going to the map to going back to flying or going back to running and looking around. It just created a whole lot of hoopla that I don't think any of us really enjoy. And then this next thing, when using a controller, you have a virtual cursor to control the map with. Now, I don't play on console, but there are a lot of console players. I'm sure that helps you guys a ton. So... UI updates. Always wanted to carry more stuff? 30.4 is going to increase our inventory to 32 slots. Any, any amount of more slots means uh, more resources uh, when harvesting. That's more resources in the caves. That's longer cave runs. That's more uh, resources to bring on building trips so that I can stay and build longer without having to go back. And as well as the fast travel makes it super easy. All of these updates, I think, in, in totality will improve the quality of life and now i think what we're looking for as a fan base uh, of this game is genuine like content and stuff to do clombo quest lines um new weapons uh maybe a new island to go along with the star wars you know obviously we want the star wars stuff furthered and progressed that might not happen for a while you know halloween's coming up we're hoping for um a new biome just that type of stuff to go in tandem with all of these really nice quality of life updates right but not to get too sidetracked, the second item on this. Filter items in the build menu by theme or set to quickly find what you're looking for. This is huge for players like me who do a ton of custom building. I don't have time to hop from piece to piece or try to arrange my recents so that I have all the pieces that I need uh, readily available. This is going to make it so much easier to just go in, find the piece I need, place it where I need to place it. Keep it in the recents if I need to keep it. If I need to find another piece, I don't have to scroll up and down looking for the exact piece that I need. It's going to be super easy to find exactly what I want as long as I know the set or the style. The last one I also really like, but guys, we need to remember that they are giving us a privilege here on this last one. We cannot abuse it. 
We are allowed to name our worlds and villages whatever we like instead of using the preset uh, words. Now, before I said that they could just keep adding uh, words and stuff and prefixes and make that even better without giving the people the ability to write whatever they want. But it looks like they've just gone ahead and given us the ability to name our worlds and villages whatever we like. But please, guys, please, let's follow the community guidelines and let's be respectful of other people. All right. Now, the last thing on here, I don't know if y'all care about, but I sort of maybe a little bit. If you guys have these styles, you might care. But they've added five new styles to the game in 30.4 tomorrow. Abyss, Anthea, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, the Cube Queen, Ember, and Indiana Jones. So if you have any of those skins, they're now going to be available in LEGO styles. I would look at that Indiana Jones a little bit closer. They could be looking at a possible collab there. So let's keep our eyes out on all these things that they're adding and think about what that could mean for in the future. Like I said, like the codex, right? In the future of the game, they're going to be adding a ton of stuff. You know, they're going to continue to add stuff and it's going to really help players out, I think, big and small. The UI updates, making it easier to build, bigger trips, bigger um, resource runs, bigger build runs. You know what I'm saying? The easier mapping so you can move around a little bit easier. I think that this just makes the game a whole lot more fun. And hopefully, if they are setting this up for a big content update like adding stuff to do, bosses or new like uh, uh, things to get, places to go, um, this is a really good setup. Like I said, I'm giving this like a nine and a half out of 10. Like this is this in terms of a quality of life update, I give it a nine and a half out of 10. Now in terms of a content update, I'm going to give it like a six and a half. I still think it's really good. And it, I, I, I'm very aware that this could be a setup update because just like the buttermilk and the pig thing that I like to poke fun at, um, they're just setting up. They're just trying to get some things into the game and just kind of ramp things up. Um, I've watched a lot of Fortnite updates come and go, so I'm not going to get mad and I'm not going to get too excited. We're going to stay neutral here on the channel. So if you like the way that I cover things and you like this type of content, make sure you hit that sub button, smack the like on the video. Let me know that you appreciate today's content and uh, take it easy, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.